Good day, folks. Thank you for joining us here at Your Health. On today's program, we will be taking your calls for the entire hour. Please get on the phone. Let's talk. But first, let's go to our news. Let's see what's happening in the health world. Frequent saunas or steam baths reduce the risk of men developing dementia. Researchers from the University of Eastern Finland followed over 2,000 middle-aged men for 20 years. They found as the men increased their frequency of sauna baths, the occurrence of dementia decreased. The subjects that used saunas four to seven times a week were 66% less likely to develop dementia. Previous research from the same institution found frequent saunas also decreased the risk of coronary artery disease and sudden death. The study was published in the medical journal Age and Aging. The study's authors are not sure why frequent saunas help to reduce the risk of dementia and cardiovascular disease, but it seems obvious to me it is well established that both infrared and steam saunas help to detoxify our bodies of environmental pollutants such as heavy metals and chemical pesticides. And these toxins, without any doubt, increase our risk of both cardiovascular disease, dementia, and even cancer. Including more frequent saunas as a part of a complete holistic plan for health makes good sense for the majority. However, if you take blood pressure medication, particularly diuretics, start with short saunas and drink plenty of fluids to avoid fainting. Including hot red chili peppers in your diet reduce death risk. Researchers from the University of Vermont followed over 16,000 subjects enrolled in the National Health and Nutrition Examination Survey. They conducted periodic health checkups for 23 years. They found those who regularly consumed hot red chili peppers were at 13% reduced risk of death. This is only the second study to investigate the health-promoting properties of hot chili peppers. The study was published by PLOS One. Folks, one of the great joys of living in the American Southwest is our readily available and diverse cultural foods, including Mexican foods, Tex-Mex, and other foods with all their spices. They are so delicious. Since living here, our family regularly includes hot spicy peppers in our diet, and we love it. It has taken us a while to get accustomed to the heat, but with time, our palates have adjusted. The authors of this study point out that hot peppers are known to open transient receptor potential channels, which activate certain cellular mechanisms that improve blood flow to vital organs such as the brain and heart, thereby reducing cardiovascular disease risk. Their consumption is also associated with reduced obesity and diabetes rates, and they are effective natural antibiotics. But perhaps the most remarkable property of hot peppers is their antioxidant and cell signaling characteristics that help to normalize cell function. So any way you slice the hot chili pepper, they're just good for you. Now one tip that might help you get used to the heat, when cooking with peppers, let them simmer for a longer period of time, as this practice helps to reduce the heat and turn up the flavor. So enjoy. Adding even small amounts of zinc to the diet can provide profound health benefits. Researchers from the University of San Francisco used a new method to assay DNA strand breaks in human volunteers. The addition of just four milligrams of zinc a day to the diet of the subjects resulted in a dramatic reduction of DNA damage that could have led to cardiovascular disease or cancer. The researchers comment that most people worldwide consume refined wheat, maize flours or refined rice. The refinement process removes most of the micronutrients such as zinc and other minerals. Previous research has found minimal supplementation with both vitamin A and zinc could prevent one million deaths a year. Well, I think it's true. Zinc is one of the forgotten nutrients, yet it does so much for us. Get this, zinc can be found in over 3,000 human proteins. It helps to regulate growth during childhood. It helps to promote a strong immune system that responds quickly and efficiently to infections and cancer. It limits inflammation. In fact, if you are low in zinc, your body will be capable of initiating an inflammatory response to an infection, for example. But since you are low in zinc, your body will not be able to stop the inflammation once the health threat has passed, so you stay inflamed. So yes, consuming even small amounts of zinc limits inflammation that could lead to cardiovascular disease or cancer. And refined and processed foods are notoriously low in zinc and other essential micronutrients. The study used highly advanced techniques to prove just an extra four milligrams of zinc a day can provide true health benefits. 
The recommended daily intake of zinc is 15 milligrams, so be sure your multiple has at least that amount. Caregivers to the terminally ill should be screened early and often to prevent burnout, anxiety, and depression. Researchers from the University of Missouri evaluated 395 family member caregivers. They found 23% suffered from moderate to severe depression and 33% suffered from moderate to severe anxiety. The study also found younger caregivers and caregivers who are married and providing care for those with a diagnosis other than terminal cancer, such as Alzheimer's disease, had higher levels of depression. Currently, more than 34 million Americans provide care for terminally ill family members. Well, folks, this is a real problem. We have an aging population, and as our parents and as we seniors develop terminal conditions, it falls upon the family to provide much of our care. Caring for others is certainly a good thing, but when the caregivers are not given regular breaks, the stress and depression builds to the point where the caregiver now becomes the patient. Chronic fatigue, stress, anxiety, depression, and caregiver burnout and more are common among those providing care. Estimates cite some 34 million Americans now provide care for a loved one, and if the caregiver is married and younger, meaning they have other family to care for, they are much more susceptible to caregiver burnout. Also, if the person being cared for has dementia or some other non-cancer diagnosis that could be prolonged and arduous, the risk increases as well. Providing care for a loved one is a good thing, and it's a necessary thing. Caregivers just need a little help and rest from time to time. If you know someone in this situation, give them a call and offer to provide them with help one day a week for the next month. The rest and change of pace will do wonders for them. Together, we will get through it. Today on Your Health, we will be taking your calls for the entire hour. We'll be right back. Can you lower your risk of disease? The answer is yes. One way is by including fruit in your diet. Fruit contains valuable nutrients that can reduce the risk of heart disease, stroke, and even some cancers. We've searched the world and found four fruits we believe are among the best. Noni from Polynesia, acai from the Amazon, and two new ones, goji and mangosteen. These four juices each have amazing properties that make them great additions to your nutritional plan. If you're a diabetic or have chronic pain, these juices will help you feel better and have more energy. Plus, they help with digestion. Now you can experience the health-promoting benefits of all four in one convenient package we call the Fruits of the World 4-Pack. And remember, it's 50% off by the case. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Cindy Becker, and this is your health at a glance. Do you want to maintain your mental clarity? With people living longer, we need more research into the ways to lower the risk of dementia. Studies are showing us that people who regularly read books, complete puzzles, or solve word games like the Sunday crossword puzzle maintain their mental abilities longer than people who don't. We also preserve memory by maintaining social activities, such as volunteering, attending religious services, or regularly talking with friends and neighbors. And diet plays a big role as well. It's important to eat a nutritious diet, free from heavy metals and chemical pollutants, and full of vitamins and the essential fatty acids which power the brain. These simple and important steps will help keep you mentally healthy for many years to come. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. There are thousands of fungal species, and at least 200 of them have been found to cause human diseases. Fungal infections are common, so what can we do to protect ourselves? One solution is oregano, a natural alternative. Oregano fights problems created by fungus and yeast overgrowth, and it improves many other health conditions. At BioInnovations, we offer oregano in gel caps and liquid extract. Yeast and fungal disorders can improve. So take charge of your health by choosing a natural alternative such as oregano gel caps or oil of oregano liquid extract. 
Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. Welcome back, everyone. It is such a blessing to be with you today. Today's show is going to be great because today's show is all about you. We'll be taking your calls the entire hour. So pick up the phone and dial 800-635-2673. We'd love to talk to you today. Well, let's go to Texas and welcome Julia. Hi there, Julia. Hi, Dr. Becker and Sydney. Hi. How are you today, Julia? Oh, I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. How can we help? Well, I'm calling because I have a few questions. I had a hysterectomy done about nine years ago, 2007, and a partial hysterectomy. I just had the ovaries removed. And kind of since then, I felt like I was kind of going down a little bit as far as um, bone problems. So, uh, wait, 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 Julia. <laughs> Did they remove the uterus? Yes. Okay, and the ovaries? No, they did not. Okay, I'm, it, I'm clear Partial, now. yes, okay, uh-huh. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I just had a partial. So anyhow, I guess in the last maybe maybe 10 years after that, um, I had, my doctor told me I had some, I had some pain in my right hip, and he told me it was osteophytes that I was having in the right hip. Okay. So he says right now we do nothing, but maybe in uh, 10 years I may have to have a hip replacement. So kind of from there, um, also um, sort of, did, know, well, let's on. slow down, Sorry. Julia. Are okay. you, did you injure the hip? No, I, nothing that I know of. Just, you know, in my earlier years, you know, I played sports and I played basketball. Okay. And, and so that's, but I never had an injury or anything from that. Well, well Julia, if you were an athlete mm-hmm. in your younger years, you have injuries. Okay. Running up and down the court. Uh, even though it's a probably a wood court, or did you play a lot on concrete wood, as well? Wood court. Both, yeah. yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you're going to have injuries. Uh, now, that doesn't necessarily mean you're sidelined for two months or you have an operation, but these little things, they, they, they add up. You know, that makes sense to you, doesn't it? Yes, yes. And all it takes is a little twist of the hip and do a little damage to the cartilaginous surface of the hip or the knee or the shoulder, and over time it leads to osteoarthritis of that joint and uh, osteophytes can form. Uh, Now the osteophytes are just little uh, uh, bony protrusions that are really uh, mounded up arthritic processes. So what happens is normally a joint has a very smooth glistening surface and it is so effective in reducing uh, friction it's seven times slipperier than ice on ice. Can you imagine how slippery an ice cube on an ice cube is? The joint surface, when it's young and healthy and it's got plenty of synovial f- fluid and it's smooth and glistening, it's immensely slippery. And that, you know, that really works well for us. But with arthritis, osteoarthritis, the joint surface begins to look like cauliflower. You get little mounds and, and it becomes inflamed. And so once that happens, the f- friction increases and it progresses more rapidly and it becomes painful. Really the key question, Julia, is does this condition, does it interfere with your activities of daily life? No, it hasn't. It hasn't so far, no. I have pain there. I still feel it there, you know. uh, Is it daily pain? Everything you do, you have pain? No, no, it's not. No. All right. Well, you know, there are several questions that we'd have to look at the x-ray to tell us. And typically what the doctor does is he looks at the joint space of the hip. When the joint space of the hip gets narrower and narrower, it means now we're bone on bone. And when it's bone on bone, that's when they talk about hip replacement surgery. So what do you think of that? Yeah. Did they say anything about bone on bone or is there still no. cartilage there? They didn't say? Didn't say. Well, there's a number of things that we can do. You know, it's not a coincidence that with hysterectomy and ovary removal, your estrogen and hormonal levels drop. They just, they just do. And it tends to progress arthritis 
and osteoporosis. Are you thin in the bones, Julia? I had a bone density done last month, and they said that I have osteopenia in the yeah, lumbar early area. Early stage, early stage. In the lumbar area. Well, you know, that could be making the pain in the hip worse. Pain in the hip worse, because as the bones thin, they become painful. And uh, here's a concept that a lot of people don't, they're not familiar with. Bone is live tissue, right? It's alive just like the rest of you and every other part of your body. And when they become thinner, osteoporosis, osteopenia, they become inflamed, these bones, and they start hurting. Also, uh, surgically induced menopause rapidly initiates menopause, and it tends to create a menopausal arthritis. This is very common after a hysterectomy. And I'm wondering, do you have any other joint pains anywhere else, or is it just the hip? No, I have it, um, my knees hurt. My, um, you know, I, you know, I, have, I had sciatica nerve uh, also uh, uh -huh. a couple of months ago, and I did some physical therapy for that, and that seemed to help, but that pain is still there on the left side. It just okay. kind of goes down from okay. the lumbar, the left hip, all the way down to the foot. You know what, Julia? I have the feeling that you're a pretty tough gal and your pain level is higher than you want to admit. And I, I appreciate that because we face life's challenges. We, you, we play the hand dealt us, right? We try not to complain, keep a cheerful attitude and press on. Am I describing you? Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think it'd be helpful you know, you're not crying, Uncle, if you, if you use some measures to help decrease the pain. Are you taking any medicine? Are you doing anything? Taking, tell me what you're doing to help yourself. Well, I started taking, of course, the vitamin D, because I hear you talk about yes. that a lot. And, of course, I've been watching my levels, and that's been um, probably, I don't know, the last maybe three years, but it's been difficult getting my levels above 37. Really? And I've always been like 37, yes. How I, much I, do you take? How much do you I take? Was, I take 5,000. Yeah, okay. I even gone up to the 10,000, as you suggested, uh -huh. for uh -huh. a month, you know, uh -huh. if you felt your levels were really low. And I even did that. But here's the thing also. So I, I also had an endoscopy done a, a few years ago, and I was told that I had Barrett's esophagus. Really? Well, I think I found that to be strange at 57, being an African-American female, that I had that. But anyway, I went back for the follow-up. When I had the follow-up a year later, she told me there was none there. She didn't see it anymore. It can come so and I, go. Yeah, so yeah. I was on Nexium for maybe three, four, five years of taking Nexium. Are you still on that? No, I haven't taken any more. Because Good, because it'll thin your bones. It'll, it'll make the bone problem progress because it interferes with absorption of nutrients due to acid suppression. I want to get your advice in here, so let's go to the part that we can help you with. You know, a Boswellia would help you tremendously. Frankincense is the biblical frankincense. It is a powerful anti-inflammatory. And um, I've, I was able to find over 30 different studies on humans with osteoarthritis, your problem. And uh, statistically, the studies show Boswellia helps osteoarthritis. And it helps to slow down the enzyme that degrades the joints. One of the big problems with the anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin or ibuprofen is, sure, they calm inflammation and pain, but they also cause the joints, the bones, the connective tissues to erode slowly. It doesn't happen quickly. It doesn't happen after a week of use. But when we have these pains from arthritis and degeneration of our joints, this is long-term trouble and we use long-term medicines to deal with those problems, and that's when we get side effects. So the non are the most commonly used drugs in the world, and they are also responsible for more side effects than any other drugs in the world. Makes sense, because now you know a little more about it. And they also can cause acid erosion in the esophagus, which is what Barrett's esophagitis is. It can cause all these problems. So. Let me tell you, some people need more vitamin D. I want to get to that real issue. Some people have a, a variation in their genetic makeup and they require high doses. The dose is irrelevant. Your drug level, your, your serum level of vitamin D is what counts. So get it up to 60 to 70, that's best. I want to send you Boswellia. I want to send you Noni juice. I want to send you glucosamine, chondroitin, and MSM. I want to send you a good multiple vitamin 
that is strong in the minerals and uh, vitamin A and vitamin E and all those things. It's our powdered vitamins. And I think if you get on the Boswellia Noni curcumin plan with a good multiple vitamin, get a good vitamin D level, I think you're going to see your pain level begins to decline. And you'll be the person who shows up with a smile on their face again. What do you think of that, Julia? And I want to send you our book, Foundations for Healing. There's an entire chapter on arthritis. How's that sound? That sounds good. Good. All right. You hang in there. Your care package is coming. We have a break. Are you one of the 62 million Americans suffering from gastrointestinal problems? Do you struggle with other chronic conditions? That's why we offer Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics. After years of research, we developed a revolutionary probiotic formula with gastro defense technology. This system protects the good bacteria from stomach acid so the probiotics reach the intestines where they go to work. Additionally, we use live count technology to prolong the shelf life of the probiotics, so there's no need for refrigeration. Dr. Becker's Bionutrient Probiotics is a powerful combination and one of the most effective formulas available today. And we offer a children's chewable formula too, both at prices you can afford. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the auto ship program for additional savings. That number is 888-442-2128. I'm Dr. Richard Becker for your health at a glance. Are you tired all the time? Persistent fatigue along with shortness of breath, headaches, and unusual food cravings may all be a sign of anemia. Anyone may develop anemia, but toddlers, women in their reproductive years, and the elderly are most likely to become anemic. If you are diagnosed with anemia, it's important to understand why. Even mild anemia untreated can lead to serious illness. Your doctor will diagnose the type of anemia you have, how you develop the condition, and how to treat it. There are many forms. But not all types of anemia are treated with iron. In fact, taking extra iron when it is not needed may add to your health problems. Once you finish treatment, you must follow up with your physician. Anemia can recur. For your health at a glance, I'm Dr. Richard Becker. Vitamin D deficiency is at epidemic levels in the United States. Chances are you aren't getting enough of this essential nutrient. Vitamin D is one of the most important molecules in the human body. It's required for the proper function of nearly 4,000 genes and 1,000 metabolic chemical reactions. Bioinnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Vitamin D3. Now supplementing with vitamin D is safe and affordable. Studies show that vitamin D deficiency can lead to poor immune function, depression, cardiovascular disease, bone disease, diabetes, cancer, and much more. Starting supplementing vitamin D today for better health tomorrow. Bioinnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. So give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. We're back, everyone. Let's go to Ohio now and welcome Charlie to the show. Hi, Charlie. Hello, Char Charlie. How you doing? Oh, I'm doing pretty good, considering. Considering. What are we considering yeah. today? How can we help you? Well, I developed glaucoma about four years ago, okay. and I went blind in my left eye, and I, I had surgery in it, and it, nothing worked, and I eventually went blind in it. My okay. right eye, I'm having a lot of trouble. I've had uh, surgery in it. I had, they put a stent in most recently, and they've done a couple laser surgeries, and they still can't keep the pressure down uh -huh. on it. And then also, in the last three years, I've developed diabetes, and I'm having trouble getting it regulated. Hmm. May I ask your age, Charlie? I'm 65. 65? What kind of work did you do? Uh, or do you do? Are you I still would, working? No, I'm, I'm re I, re I retired. I can't work any longer. Understood. What did you do? Uh, I was a private investigator. Interesting. 
throughout that career, was that the only thing you did or was there anything, what I'm getting at, is there any toxic exposure? You know, Ohio has been an industrial center for many, many years. And if you worked in a foundry or something, you know, this is the kind of thing I'm getting at. You did work with heavy metals, do anything else, anything that would expose you to pesticides, uh, heavy metals, uh, chemical, persistent organic pollutants. You get my drift, Charlie? Any exposure like that? No, I, I haven't had any exposures like that. Uh, no more than the general population. Correct. No more than the general population. Any other health conditions? Let me ask you this. What's your weight, Charlie? How are you doing with your weight? Well, uh, since I developed diabetes, I've lost about 50 pounds. I'm down to uh, 207 of my last. 207? Mm-hmm. Okay. And how tall are you, may I ask? Six foot. Six foot? Six foot. Okay. How are your blood sugars doing? Uh, they, they vary. Uh, they've got me on, they started me on metformin, one, one 500 pill a day. That didn't do any good. Uh, then they put well, me one, on two one, and Charlie, little. one metformin, 500, won't do anything. That's not oh, yeah, an effective dose. 1,500 is the minimum dose to do anything with metformin. Just so you know. Just so you know. Okay. So the doses well, is 1,500 and up. Okay, I'm on 1,500 right is now. Is it working? How are your blood sugars, Charlie? This is very important because your eyesight is dependent on your blood glucose levels. That's what my eye doctor tells me. Yeah, he's giving you good advice. So what are your blood glucose levels? In the mornings, it will vary anywhere from, I've had it down as low as 105 to sometimes it's 135, 140. And they said That's not like that. that. That's pretty to... good, Charlie. You're doing good with that. Do you remember your long-term glucose, your hemoglobin A1C? How does that rack up? It started out at 7.3 and this last time it was 7.2. Okay. If we could get it below 7, it'd be a good thing. Because glucose is a uh, dynamic thing. It comes up and it goes down and it just checking it once or twice a day, that's that instant in time. It doesn't tell you about 10 minutes ago or two hours from now, you follow? So it's something that has to be checked frequently. And when you're trying to preserve your sight and who isn't, <laughs> We have to be really, that's one of the most fundamental and important things I could tell any diabetic. If you're fighting a health condition and you're losing the battle, diabetics, go back to the basics, the fundamental aspects of controlling glucose levels. It's all about that. Now, controlling glucose won't prevent all the problems, but it prevents a lot of the problems, perhaps even the majority of the problems. And one study done in type 1 diabetics, so it's not strictly applicable to you, but it, it, it still applies. Five years of control, good control. Even 20 years later, those people, even if they abandoned the good control, those who had good control for a while had fewer disease complications for their diabetes. Isn't that amazing? So it's, it's critical. And the next thing is replace nutrients. We are a country of nutrient-depleted citizens. The majority are deficient in two or more vitamins. The majority. And in some segments, like in a nursing home setting, it's as high as 95%. Now, you're not in a nursing home, but I know you're depleted. Are you taking any vitamins? Yes, I take a multiple um, vitamin mineral every day. I take uh, 2,000 units of fish oil. Good, good. Uh, I Good. Take, uh, so you're taking a, a, is it a pressed pill? Because you're having an absorption problem. I, I just, I know you are. Listen. Yeah, the vitamin the pressed pill, yes. If you take one heaping tablespoon of our multiple vitamin that has adequate nutritional levels for supplementation in a high potency sense and put it into a pill or a capsule, it makes 50 capsules. There is no way a one a day can supply you with the nutrients you need. You need 10 times the amount of thiamine that a non-diabetic needs. They're not putting that into your little pill. It's not happening. I've researched this out thoroughly. Let me help you. I want to put you on the multiple vitamin mineral powder. Now you're getting nutrition. I also want to do some other things for you that will help control your glucose levels. Chromium picolinate, 400 micrograms a day. I'm going to send you this trace element that helps your body process glucose. Milk thistle, 
All of these things are intended to improve your glucose control and prevent complications. And if we get you in better health, maybe we'll preserve that site because I can't give you an antidote or a remedy for glaucoma. I can't do it. Uh, I can give you a book that'll help you understand it better. Dr. Anshul wrote a great book and I want to send you that. But I also want to send you alpha lipoic acid. I want you to take three of those a day. Three a day. Grapeseed extract with resveratrol, powerful antioxidants. Unbelievable what it does for the diabetic. Olive leaf and oregano because a lot of your troubles are yeast based. Yeast based problems in the diabetic. Probiotics. Eat yogurt every day and take one of these probiotic pills. The active adult, multiple vitamin and mineral we talked about. I want to send you some of our fish oil because it's DHA spiked and it's ultra purified and curcumin extracted from turmeric and foundations for healing. Read the chapter on diabetes and memorize the six things every diabetic must know. Your care package is coming. Save your site. We'll be back in a minute. Is your life out of balance? It may be. The average American consumes far too many omega-6s and not enough omega-3s. This creates an imbalance. So what can we do to get back in balance? We can eat a healthy diet. And most of us need to supplement with omega-3 rich fish oil. Fish oil contains omega-3s with DHA and EPA, fatty acids that promote good brain and heart health. So reduce omega-6 in your nutritional plan and boost omega-3 to get back in balance. To help you do that, BioInnovations offers two products, the Fish Oil Complex and Omega-369, both formulated for your health and well-being. So how do you choose? For highest levels of DHA and EPA, choose the Fish Oil Complex. For a balanced formula, choose the 369. Go online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. I'm Cindy Becker for Your Health at a Glance. How often do you go into the grocery store to buy just a bag of chips or candy bar? I suspect not very often. Then how is it that these foods make it into our grocery bags and pantries? Do you make impulse choices and buy junk food? To control that impulse, plan your next trip to the store. Write down at least three days of menus and build a grocery list with the ingredients needed to prepare the meals. Eat a healthy snack before going to the store. If you are hungry, you're less likely to stick to the grocery list. Shop the perimeter of the store, starting with fruits and vegetables. Have you ever noticed the most healthy foods are in the outer aisles? And avoid items displayed at the checkout counter, trying to entice you to make a last minute purchase. Follow these tips and make a plan so your next trip gives you control and you come home with bags full of healthy food. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. For centuries, the herb astragalus has been a staple of traditional Chinese medicine. It's used to create a strong shield, protecting the immune system. Astragalus is also used to support healthy heart and lung function. There's even more. Astragalus helps to calm total body inflammation, a common cause of pain and chronic illness. All of that without the use of medication. That's right. Support your health the way nature intended with astragalus root. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients Astragalus Root Extract. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128 or order online at bioinnovations.net and see what Astragalus can do for your health. That number once again is 888-442-2128. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Call today. We're back everyone taking your calls the entire hour today. Be sure you write this phone number down and put it up on your refrigerator so you can call every time we are on the air. 800-635-2673. We'd love to talk to you. Let's go to Oklahoma now and welcome Janet. Hi there, Janet. Hi. Hi, Janet. How are you today? Hi, I'm doing great. Um, I wanted to thank you both for having the show that you do. You and Cindy have brought so much hope into my life. Oh. And um, 
I get tickled, somebody will say, well, I've got this and this wrong. And I say, well, you need to take this and this. <laughs> and they'll go, where are you getting all this? <laughs> and so I've gotten several people in my family to watch her show. And my uh, daddy is just loves it. He won't oh, miss it. Thank you very much. Thank you for passing it. that on. But how can we help you today? Well, I have suffered from uh, multiple myeloma. Uh, going on nine years next month. Nine years? Nine years. You're a wonder child. You know that, don't yeah. you? Wonder well, kinder. Well, that's, that's what I've been told. I tell them I was blessed by the Lord and uh, by a great doctor. Uh -huh. um, I've had two multiple... Uh, I've had two um, bone marrow transplants. And oh. um, the first one was only supposed to give me about a year and a half, maybe two years. And it gave me four and a half years of pretty good life. Uh -huh. And then um, I had another one uh, three and a half years ago. And I haven't done as well with it. Um, they can't do one. I guess three is the limit that they can do. Yeah. And they've taken enough uh, of my own stem cells to, or bone marrow to do Janet, another one. L let me ask uh -huh. you, have you had a, you've been dealing with this a long time, and I know you've seen a lot of doctors, but have you maybe left your town and, say, come to Dallas and see another specialist just to get a second opinion? Have you done that type of thing? I've stayed with the doctor that And he served you well. You're, you're alive after nine years, which is quite an accomplishment. And I'm not saying they're doing a bad job. The results uh -huh. speak for themselves. However, there are some recent advancements in multiple myeloma therapy that are, frankly, they're groundbreaking. It's unbelievable what they're doing now. And, you know, no doctor knows everything. Well, let's start with that. I don't know everything. I've never met the doctor who knows everything. And this really is a team sport. Let's put it that way. We have to work together, put the egos aside, and get as much help as we can because it's really about helping people, not being a shining star. Does that make sense to you? Yes, very much. Um, um, you know, I Dallas is a good place to find specialty care. In your Oklahoma, we're neighbors, you know. So keep that in mind as we discuss this problem. There's no harm in having another expert look over things. And you know what he's probably, he or she will probably say, you have a good doctor. They're doing exactly what I would do. That's probably what will happen. But then it gives you confidence because I think I know where your head is on this. You've already beat the odds, and you want to know where this is all going, aren't, don't you? What's going to exactly. happen to me after I've had my third bone marrow? Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, I have heard you talk about multiple myeloma, but I don't know what happened to my little notes on that. I have, uh, well, yes. I don't have them. And uh, after your, the show that you talked about, multiple myeloma, I ordered some astragalus. Astragalus, yes. Fruit. Now, what is that supposed to do? What does astragalus do? It, it has um, complex carbohydrates that activate the immune system. They also help to improve heart and lung function. They create a shield from an infection, from invading forces. So it's very helpful for the cancer patient because your immune system has been suppressed and you are susceptible to uh, opportunistic infections such as candida, yeast, pneumonia. I'm sure your doctors have talked to you about this potential. You have to be careful in flu season, right? Repeatedly. Yes. Well, this uh, is the type of thing we use astragalus for is to create a strong shield. If you can remember that, it would be very helpful. Another thing that would help you is IP6 and inositol. There's some new information on multiple myeloma and inositol IP6. This is extracted from fiber and uh, it's gaining recognition. There's been a lot of studies on it, and I think it would be very helpful for you, so I'm going to send you that. Curcumin extracted from turmeric. If I could only do one thing, and it's silly to think that way, but I'm making the point, turmeric, the, uh, the, the, the pigment curcumin extracted from turmeric would be the star feature. Boy, that one, that's amazing. I don't have time to go into all those details, but turmeric and, uh, and its ability with all the cancers, is uh, all six stages of cancer progression, turmeric uh, curcumin inhibits. Other 
probiotics, grapeseed extract, um, the astragalus you mentioned, vitamin D is very important for what you're doing. Very important for what you, but I think I want, I want to send you foundations for healing and beating cancer with nutrition so you can read more. And I strongly recommend just get another opinion. And listen, girl, no one knows the time of their death. That's not our business. That's God's business. Our job is to keep plugging one day at a time. Some people live to be 100. Some people live to be 50. But life is short no matter how long you live. Enjoy each day. Let God worry about when he wants to take you. Do you hear me? Yes, I hear you very much. You're doing so. good. You have a good attitude. You're trying hard. And God will bless you abundantly for your example to others who are suffering. There's a reason you called today. There's a reason you got through. Thousands of people call this program, but we're talking to you. Someone's watching who needs your help. You're being a shining star, and we thank you for your call and your courage. We have a break. We'll be right back. that nature holds the answer to your health needs? Are you looking for a supplement that's simple and pure, yet really works? If you're looking for nature's answer to better health, look to Aloha Noni Juice. It's pure and fresh, just like nature intended. Aloha Noni Juice is brought to you direct from the islands of Polynesia. Aloha Noni Juice is 100% pure with no added sugar or sweet fruit fillers. It's the perfect addition to your low sugar diet. Aloha Noni Juice drinkers will tell you their vitality, energy, and sense of well-being have improved, along with relief from many painful conditions. Made by nature, proven by science. Aloha Noni Juice contains only nature's best. And now you can enjoy the benefits of our new 100% certified organic Noni Juice. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. our hope for you today. I'm Cindy Becker. When we struggle with disease and painful health conditions, we can become overwhelmed with negative thoughts. We may even develop depression. The Apostle Paul offered guidelines to help us preserve a positive attitude during times of trouble. He wrote in Philippians 4 verse 8, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Thinking positive thoughts is the first step toward overcoming worry, even depression. Proverbs 17 verse 22 reminds us, a cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Remember these words of wisdom as you face your health challenges. I'm Cindy Becker. This is our hope for you today. Have you heard of Cordyceps sinensis, the medicinal mushroom that supports metabolic processes for stimulant-free energy? This remarkable mushroom also supports the immune and respiratory systems, as well as the heart and lungs. BioInnovations brings you Dr. Becker's Bionutrients, Cordyceps sinensis. Medicinal mushrooms contain beta-glucans, compounds that promote healthy immune function while helping to coordinate multiple body systems. And Cordyceps sinensis is among the safest and most powerful medicinal mushrooms available today, making it your choice for stimulant-free natural energy. BioInnovations is the affordable source that you can trust for all your vitamin and supplement needs. Give us a call at 888-442-2128. That's 888-442-2128. Or order online at bioinnovations.net. Be sure to ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. We're back. Let's go to New York now and welcome Deborah to the show. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Dr. Becker. Hello, Deborah. How are you today? Well, I'm better now that I'm talking to you. I <laughs> well, need a road to recovery here. Oh, wonderful. Well, yep. how can we help you? Well, I, I'm home now for my second week of work. I've got uh, pneumonia oh. in my lower left lobe. Got a word from the doctor yesterday that I had had that the sputum came back with uh, 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 strep. strep. 
Okay. And it, in November, I had bacterial MRSA. And so this is all a result of what I've, I've talked to you like over 10 years ago. Yes. Alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency. I thought so. I yep. was, as I was looking at this, yep. you know, is your name, yep. COPD at 59, that's kind of early to... I've had it since 1930, or since I was 36, I was diagnosed. Oh, you poor child. Okay. And my brother died of it. He died at 42. We, they gave us five years to live, the doctors. So I'm doing pretty good. Yes, you are. Yep. So your, I want everybody to understand this, your emphysema did not come from smoking. Correct. Although I was a smoker, it, I quit smoking in 1998. Okay. But uh -huh. you have a condition where you don't have enough Correct. of a specific enzyme that helps to maintain Correct. the integrity of the lungs. Correct. Alpha-1 antitrypsinase deficiency. And when okay. that's low, you have rapidly progressive emphysema. Rapidly progressive. Um, there's no lumps or masses in the uh, lungs, just Nothing. the pneumonia. God has got his hand of protection on me. I'm, it's been, I am a miracle still. You are, you truly I, uh, are. I was on, I was on disability So why, for why these years. bacteria? It's what? You're, you have the strep and you yep. had the MRSA, which is um, methicillin resistant staph. Staphylococcus aureus. These are both gram-positive organisms. They have similar characteristics in their propensity to infect people. And the first two things I think about when I hear this, somebody who has multiple episodes, and I don't want you to have three or four, let's stop it at two, is one is a zinc deficiency. That's possible. And the other is you've been colonized with these germs and the antibiotic is not getting the site of the colonization. And where that usually occurs is in the ampule of the nose. To use the vernacular of the layman's, the, the ampule of the nose is where you can place your finger, where the hair of the nose is. Antibiotics do not clear that area of bacteria, and it's hard to get rid of it there. And so what we do is we use a topical antibiotic ointment, such as Neosporin, over-the-counter triple antibiotic. Have you heard of that, Deborah? I have. <laughs> and apply that at least twice a day to the ampule of the nose, both nares. Do that for at least 10 days. And let's try to get rid of that location of, a, um, they call it a bacterial foci, a location where it colonizes. And then you breathe that in, you see, and it migrates down into the lung and we have troubles. So how, are we having other health problems? Yeah, How's, I'm on oxygen again now. And, okay. Uh, well, so but you have been, pneumonia, so is that clear? As, no, no, no. I've been, it's, it's been the last two okay. years or so I've had a downfall. I was off of it for from 2006. I stopped the oxygen, and then um, uh, 20, about 14 or 15, I just went, I crashed. Yes. And went really low, and so yes. now I'm wearing oxygen again at night, not 24-7 yes. like I was for Are you years. supplementing at all? Uh, I, so, yeah, intermittently, though. Nothing that I have a regular regimen. That's what I'm looking for. You know, we focus on the lungs with an alpha-1 antitrypsinase deficiency, but you realize it can affect other organs, yes? I know. Yes, yeah. I do know that. Yes, I've done you a do. Lot of How about your intestinal tract? See, I, I feel that you're at risk for malabsorptive syndrome, zinc deficiency. Remember here, there, that comes up again. You know, if you're not getting the nutrients, if you're not absorbing at peak ability, oh my goodness, how do we fight these things? Well, time is short. I want to get to the part where we're going to help you. All this is background knowledge. Boswellia could, this is the biblical frankincense, dear. This is the gift of the Magi to the Christ child. We have evidence, proof, good, good evidence that it slows down the destruction of the lungs and emphysema. It actually inhibits the enzymes that are degrading your lungs. And I think it would help you. I want you to start taking at least two or three of the capsules daily. You can take more, but take a dose that you can take long term and uh, that you can afford to do. So uh, I wanna, I'm going to send you two bottles of the Boswellia so you get a good month of it in to see how it's helping. But also astragalus, the uh, herb from the Orient. I think of astragalus as creating a strong shield. It helps the function of the lungs and the heart. Uh, noni juice. Noni juice also slows down the destruction of the lung tissue in emphysema. New, that's new research on noni. Remarkable. Probiotics. You've been on a lot of antibiotics. I know you have a yeast problem. The doctors will never test for it. They'll never find it. But I promise you, 
it is one of the core reasons why you've been getting these infections. So uh, with the condition you have, the secreting cells aren't working properly. And secreting cells secrete antibodies. We have to boost your immune system. So probiotics, oil of oregano, olive leaf extract, these natural antibiotics are gonna help you a lot. Probiotics, uh, yogurt with every meal. Yeah, a little yogurt with every meal, take the probiotic capsule with every meal. You're gonna see a big difference. You need a little extra protein in your diet, I wanna send you PR Plus, vanilla flavor, it's delicious, you're gonna love it. You need a little extra protein. Because with emphysema, we lose our desire to eat, especially hard to chew foods like protein, so you need some. D3, I wanna send you a bottle of that, get your blood level up to 70 if you can. And I wanna send you zinc. This could really help. I want to send you a whole package to get your nutrition up, get your defenses strong, and get you back on track. And uh, I, I'm just praying for the best, Ebra. And I, I need to hear, are we on the right track? You okay we are. With, okay. I, I totally agree with everything. And okay. I just needed a, a, a monthly direction to follow because yes. I've gone Here's you your know, direction, in different girl. directions. And I know Here's your direction. Don't give yep. up. I'm not. Don't you dare <laughs> give up. My give up bone was moved a long time ago. Yes. Boy, I'm with you 100%. Well, I wish we didn't have a break, but these are the constraints of television. So we'll be back in a moment. Every day, about 200 million Americans do not get enough of a key essential mineral. That mineral is magnesium. The typical American diet does not supply enough. And magnesium is so important. It protects bones and helps more than 300 different enzymes in the human body perform efficiently. That's why BioNnovations offers chelated magnesium capsules for oral use and topical magnesium gel to be applied to the skin. That's two forms of magnesium to meet your daily needs. Scientific evidence points to chelation as the best method of vitamin and mineral formulation. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Because chances are you are one of the 200 million Americans who need more magnesium every day. Again, that number is 888-442-2128. Call today. Ask about the AutoShip program for additional savings. Cindy Becker and this is your health at a glance. Did you know the typical baby born in America today has over 200 foreign chemicals in their bloodstream? The world is a polluted place, but just how polluted may come as a surprise. Health experts report that pollution plays a major role in the development of ADHD, obesity, cardiovascular disease, Parkinson's disease, ALS, and a wide variety of cancers, including prostate and breast cancer. There are safe and simple steps you can take to lower your exposure to chemicals. Eat an organic, pesticide-free diet whenever possible. Be careful with the home use of chemicals. Don't consume fish that may be contaminated with mercury. Have your water supply tested for purity and add house plants to lower indoor pollution levels. By taking a few basic steps, we can protect ourselves from disease-causing pollution. For your health at a glance, I'm Cindy Becker. Different people have different vitamin and mineral needs. That's why Dr. Becker's BioNutrients multiple vitamin and mineral powders come in four different blends. That's right, when it comes to vitamins, no one formula is right for everyone. For those who don't get enough vegetables in their diet, there's the organic green blend with three servings of vegetables in every tablespoon. And for those looking for a boost of fruit and berry phytonutrients, there's the berry blend with three servings of fruit in every tablespoon. And don't forget the active adult blend with extra B vitamins, calcium, and added cofactors like ginkgo and CoQ10. Plus, we've designed a multiple for those with allergies called the Low Allergy Rice Blend. Whatever your unique needs are, BioNutrients has a multiple vitamin that's just right for you. Order online at bioinnovations.net or call 888-442-2128 and let us assist you in making the right choices for better health. Your health is brought to you by BioInnovations, trusted products for your health and well-being. 
We're back, everyone. Richard, the time has yes. just flown by. It really and you has. know, we had some really, really great calls today. I think in the time left, it'd be really great if we could maybe summarize and go through the calls again. There's got to be someone watching who maybe missed one of them. And these were really some great people that were able to help today. Boy, you nailed that one right. Absolutely. Have you noticed in today's callers that persistence pays off? Never give up attitude. What did John Wayne teach us? Keep trying, didn't he? You know, I grew up watching John Wayne and all those great movies that he made. Deborah here with the alpha-1 antitrypsinase deficiency and early onset emphysema. Starting as a child, they told her she would barely make adulthood. And here she's 59 years, 30 years longer than anybody ever thought she did. Why? Because she wouldn't give up. She kept trying and working. And then we have uh, Janet, who's lived nine years with multiple myeloma, which is a, a miracle in and of itself. The patient who has multiple myeloma diagnosed today has a much better chance of living nine, 10 years, but still it takes tremendous dedicated effort. And then we have a, a lady who was an athlete earlier on in the small traumas of athleticism, even without a pronounced injury, it adds up over time, but she still wants to keep going. And this attitude of I'm gonna not quit is an example to everyone. And Charles with diabetes, he's lost the sight in one eye and he's on the process of losing the sight in the second eye. And we urge Charles to not give up. And for all you diabetics, when you have a, this is true for all health conditions. It is a major recurring theme of this program. When things are mystifying, when you can't understand what is wrong, go back to the basics. Change your diet, change your exercise, even things like drink more water. Supplement every essential nutrient. Use the conditionally essential nutrients like CoQ10. These are agents that normally we make for ourselves. We don't need to supplement them, but with disease and age and medication use, we need alpha lipoic acid and CoQ10 and L-carnitine. When a human is properly nourished and the attitude is strong, miracles happen. And they happen every single day. And don't you doubt it. And the other thing is somebody is watching you with your courage. How many times somebody, you watch somebody, you know this lady, she has rheumatoid arthritis, she struggles, but every Sunday she's at church. She tries and she smiles and I gain motivation from that. Somebody's watching you with your chronic health condition. You're teaching your children and your grandchildren that persistence pays off. And you know what the whole point of all this is? So that with your healing and with your continued joy of life, you can give glory to God. That's what it's all about, the glory to God. We've seen it in our practice. We've seen it in friends. We see it in people who call us. It's more than just you and me. People are watching us with our efforts. They're learning from our example. Let God decide when the end has come. Each day, one foot in front of the other, I'm not smart enough to decide when it's over. I keep trying. That's the key to a successful life. You learn a thing or two when you've cared for thousands of people, didn't we, honey? We learned a thing or two. That's right. Think about it. It makes a huge difference in your life and your health. Thank you for your kind attention. We'll see you tomorrow right here on Your Health. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Please join us. Bye-bye. Did you know lifestyle diseases are a $2 trillion economic burden annually? Benjamin Franklin once said, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Don't wait for a diagnosis, disease, or other ailment to surprise you. Eat an apple, take a walk, give a hug. Take positive preventive steps towards a healthier lifestyle, and you'll experience vitality every day. It's not crazy, just healthy. Many people are searching for God's purpose for their lives. Artist Freeman Nelson is a pastor and author who helps inspire positive transformations. His new book, Morphed, describes how each of us can be changed from a person burdened with regret